With this one, we're asked to evaluate it or simplify it. And we've got a log base 4 uh, of 256. The best way to do this is to go ahead and take this one. And we've got to basically find out what this equals. Uh, if we rewrite it in, what I do on this one is just rewrite it in exponential form. And that gives me a clearer picture of what I'm looking for. Now remember, when we rewrite this one in exponential form, this 4 here, it's a log base 4. That will become my base on my exponent. And the exponent is the part that we don't know yet. Uh, I'm just going to uh, leave that off for a moment. And it's going to equal this 256. So it'll look like this, 4 to the something equals 256. Now, and you can leave it like that and just say, okay, what is this something here uh, that you can try to find and see? Um, but uh, for me, I like to just substitute x in for it. Okay, so now that we've got that, now we've got to fi find out what this x value is. Uh, and you can use many different methods to try to determine what that is. For squared, we know it's 16. For cubed, we know it's 64. And just keep multiplying. 4 times 4 to the 4th power would equal 256. And I recommend you use a calculator just to start typing it in and see what happens there. Uh, see however many you need to go to. But this one would be 4. 4 to the 4th power. 4 times itself 4 different times equals 256. Now let's look at one that's similar, only this one ends up being a fraction. So with this particular one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to rewrite this one in exponential form, so it'll be 2 to the something power, and it would equal this 1 over 32. So 2 to the x, you can just leave that blank if you want, if that makes it easier for you. But we've got to think about it, 2 to the what equals 32. Now we know on this one that 2 to the fifth power would equal 32. The problem is, is here we have a 1 over 32. So if it's 1 over something, that means that this exponent is going to be negative. Okay, So your answer here would be negative 5, 2 to the negative fifth. Remember, with our rules of exponents, if it's a negative exponent, that means that we move it from the numerator, we move it from up top down below. And then a 1 stays on top. So this would be negative 5 would be your answer on this one.